developing. It's called candling. Um, and so you can look at, you know, sort of the structure inside. Uh, there are two ways we can figure out if the, the egg is fertile. One of them is this. The other one is you could actually put it into a cup of water. And depending on the density of the egg, which depends on how much of the embryonic development has taken place, it will float or it will sink. And stuff? All right. Or do they like have an egg there, and then the man comes and fertilizes it? Before, before you answer that, could you the, use the word fertile? If the egg is fertile, oh, yeah. that means what? So, so if the egg is fertile, it means that um, the sperm has actually fertilized the egg itself, which means that there's going to be a, a, an embryo who incorporates genetic material from both the ma mother and the father. Um, and so um, there's no such thing as pregnancy in birds because they lay their egg right away after it was fertilized. So what happens is the female has her, her, uh, her uh, um, ovaries and then the eggs are ovulated. And uh, she already builds this sort of, uh, um, you know, how egg is yellow and, uh, and that's the lipids which york itself. And then the sperm arrives, fertilizing the egg, and then the next day she puts the, the calcium, the, the hard shell around it, and she lays that egg. So that egg doesn't stay with her for a, a much more than 24 hours. Uh. All right, cool. So why do we care about those things? Um, because they migrate from a place or another place, mm -hmm. and by season, the weather change. Also, they like for, they like for, for a warmer place where they, they could feed. Yeah. And they just break. So, so why, why does being in a warm place matter for a swallow, for instance? So it won't, it won't die. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so. Birds uh, have, you know, thick feathers, and those feathers are actually very good insulators. So if a bird was out there last night, it would probably be fine. The problem is that, you know, when it sits, it's not foraging. It doesn't, you know, um, replenish its energy resources. And so the, the warmth and the heat matters not for survival, but for feeding, which is another word that's going to come up on. And swallows catch their uh, uh, prey on the wing, so the prey has to be flighted which means that this is insects and gnats and um, uh, mosquitoes and uh, and flies. Mm -hmm. They are very good control for that. So if you have a couple of nest boxes in your backyard and there's a swampy area, chances are the swallows will go after them. Or, um, and you'll see them you know, moving around when the mosquitoes are...